Kuzikov with DOD Fed Globe, and here today I have Nicole, Marina, and their beautiful family. Hello, ladies. Can you tell everybody who is who? Hey there. First of all, I'm Marina. You probably haven't met me yet. And as you already know, this is Nicole. And uh, guys, do you want to introduce is, yourself? Yeah. You wanna, you, no, Daisha doesn't want to introduce herself. This is Daisha. Gabrielle. And Gabrielle. Um, I'm David. And this is four of our six children yes. that we share together. Two are out today having fun. And um, we are a very diverse family, as you can tell. Uh, our nine-year-old son is disabled. And we have a six-year-old teenager as well. We are a family of eight, and we have a lot of fun. We don't, it, not that we don't squabble at times, but we really enjoy ourselves. And um, one of the things that I would like to tell the people that you, when you look around and see the people in your community, know that if you are wondering if they are gay or lesbian, uh, that they have already fought a certain struggle. And inside that struggle, they have found strength and self-examination. So you are far more likely to want to be, with, be friends with that person than not. Um, as you can tell, we are all of you. Uh, we look just like you, we act just like you, we love our children just like you, these kids bicker just like your kids bicker. Yes, they do. And they have fun just like your kids have fun. Um, we have a little tradition at night where we go through the thing at the end of the day where we talk about the best and the worst thing we've had that we experienced that day. David and Gabrielle yes. um, and really enjoy that tradition. We talk about the uh, thing that we learned for the day. We talk about well, how about if we let the kids tell us? Absolutely. Why don't you just tell them how we do it? Talk in there. Um, just trying to get them going. Well, first we say the best thing, then we say the worst thing. Um, what did we do next? Did. Um, well, after that, we usually talk about, like, the funniest and the freakiest things. Then, then every other day, we make a round robin, like, who said the stupidest thing to you? you know? <laughs> now, who thinks they've done the goofiest thing ever? Anybody ever done something really goofy? Probably Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> We have six kids in sort of five different schools. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's a little bit of a scheduling and schlepping drama. Well, we kind of um, mix and match because we have so many different, we, we literally have five different areas that we have to be right. in and three different school systems. So <laughs> it's a little, it's a little crazy. It's okay, we manage. <laughs> we manage. And then the extracurricular activities, you know, we have dancers, artists, Actors, karate, athletes, yeah. Uh, gal about town. <laughs> <laughs> Daisha is studying to be a teacher. She is really close to finishing her education. She is. What are you doing now? What's it called? I'm doing my uh, my preclinical experience. She's the Pied Piper of all children. Uh, they just flock, flock to her. She's magical with kids. So she is. She's all also the really solid uh, disciplinary when we need her to be. Nobody fights with her or argues with her. She says, do it, and they just go, okay. Yes, my son uh, Nicholas was born 100 days early at one pound, and he lived his first, for, the, for all intents and purposes, the first four years of his life in the hospital. And he is um, legally blind. He has hearing impairment. He has seizure disorder. He has all kinds of things from his prematurity. But the one thing that he has is um, sort of a purity of heart, and he is uh, special in this family in a way that goes beyond even description. Everybody in this family absolutely loves and adores him, and he brings happiness and smiles to everyone. He does. He's the only kid that they have absolute, 100%, <laughs> like, unconditional love for. You know what I mean? Because they don't bicker with him, they don't, they just sit with him and, and adore him and, and they completely embrace his uniqueness, which is really amazing. I mean, I knew when our, when our families merged that, um, that it was going to be a challenge on so many levels, you know, and, and it really and truly was. But Nicholas was one area where there was never an issue from the moment he came into the house, the kids just all embraced him and were so sweet with him and had an understanding 
understanding for who this special little guy was. And I have to say, you know, my kids drive me crazy sometimes. I just want to, you know, but they... <laughs> what? I speak for all parents. I do, I do. But um, they, they all have big hearts and they all see human beings equally. And I have raised them to be that way. So I am so proud of them on that level. You know, because I knew they were all going to be that way. Nicole was nervous because a lot of people don't really have an understanding for disabled folks. They just don't. They see them as different or whatever. And the kids were all magnificent with him from day one. Since I'm already studying to be a teacher, it just makes me more aware of um, children that may have, you know, certain learning disabilities or other disabilities that are kind of being overlooked and or maybe feeling left out or maybe need extra attention or extra help. And I mean, I've noticed a lot more since I've spent so much time with Nicholas, like the little things that um, I think other people may not notice. Yeah, that's, that's really well And said. what do you always say, Gabrielle? Um, I wish I could spend... Oh yeah, I wish I could spend way more time with Nicholas because I have a lot of homework and I'm... I'm here half the time. Um, sometimes he's always so happy and he's not afraid of anything. So <laughs> sometimes I just want to go inside his head and be him for a day. Um, well, usually he um, inspires me to just be really um, like softer with other people because I notice that their feelings could get hurt much easier. And um, that um, when, um, when he first moved in, um, it was kind of hard to understand everything that was going on with him. But then I just learned to be really caring with him. And they, he, they all are. It's just that's one of the wonderful things that unites our family. And um, we really do feel like we have an incredibly special family and a very strong family.